Alexandra Gerstein. I'm the McQueen's Curator of Sculpture and Decorative Arts in the Courtauld Gallery. And I'm Tom Nixon. I teach Medieval Art and Architecture at the Courtauld. And I'm Lisa Redlinski and I'm the Head of Libraries at the Courtauld. And this collection uh, is used as a collection to teach students today. But from what I understand, it was used as a kind of study collection about a century ago. Could you tell me a bit about that? Yes, these uh, casts of ivories were collected together in sets and studied by scholars and connoisseurs and collectors in Europe. Museums also bought them and primarily they were used to uh, get a sense of what was in private and public collections that couldn't be you know, easily or, or accessible. And so there are ivories that were cast that are uh, from all over, the, all over Europe and um, it happens that in our collection of, uh, in the, in the Courtauld Gallery's collection of medieval ivories, we searched to see whether there were any equivalents um, in the plaster cast in the library, and we did find one. And so here is the uh, ivory from the Courtauld Gallery's collection, and here is its cast from the plaster collection in the Courtauld. They are more or less identical, it's slightly thicker. We have subsequently found in researching it that the ivory is not what it purports to be, a uh, early 16th century plaque, but in fact probably a 19th century convection of some kind, either made to uh, as a fake or, or, um, or simply made in the spirit of an older piece. So in effect, um, the only ivory that we have in the collection of medieval ivories is in fact a 19th century ivory, and this collection itself is 19th century, so they do belong together and we've just you know, brought them here to show how close they are. One of the joys about the plaster cast collection though is that whereas these ivories, if we were looking at the original ivories, no one would be able to handle them apart from museum curators. Here having the plaster casts, uh, it means that anyone at the Courtauld, students, staff can handle them and really get a feel for them as, as physical objects as well. And the interesting thing about them is that they have, um, they carry information on the back, so um, well, this one sort of has its provenance information, but it's also inscribed something. It says Lyon, so at some point it may have been in a collection in Lyon. Um, and that's something that is not always uh, with the original ivory, this provenance information. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, so you can see an object like this. This is what's called an, an olifant. The name comes from elephant. And you can see in its shape that it's for a section of a, of a tusk of an elephant. Um, so this is an ivory tusk that probably came from East Africa, was brought up through the Red Sea to Egypt and the Mediterranean and was carved then to serve, well, we don't really know what those horns originally functioned at. So what it tells us something about though is the kind of interconnectedness between Africa and uh, the Mediterranean and Europe in the Middle Ages. This is probably carved in the 11th century. Uh, these ones, um, this for example, is carved in Paris in the 15th century, the original version was, um, and in this case the ivory came probably from West Africa up through the Sahara Desert, uh, and it would have come in the form of tusks, and then uh, specially, kind of specialist artists would have carved that into these plaques in Paris in the 15th century. And this object is really beautiful, and could you just tell us a bit about it? Well, can you have a guess of what it might be? Well, it's beautiful and silly, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, is it a chess piece? It is a chess piece, yeah. This is a bishop. You can maybe see we've got uh, a bishop on his horse, um, and this is, comes from a very large set of uh, a chess set made in ivory. Um, we don't have all the pieces, but we have a number of casts of these uh, chess pieces. And this, I'm not sure this is something that would ever be played, actually. I think it probably originally would have been a kind of a showpiece.